Welcome back everyone, we are playing Satisfactory, make sure to like and subscribe, make sure there's notifications on, and we're gonna keep doing stuff, I just made sure I got this ready, I was like, okay, we gotta do something about this, so, if there's anything new in the comments, make sure to like and subscribe, make sure there's notifications on, I've been AFKing material off camera, because I needed the concrete in my metal, because I'm gonna be building a lot of stuff, I've been hard at work off camera doing some unlocking, I didn't unlock all of them, but I did, most of the the parts, if you guys noticed, I think I did field research, did I? Yeah, I did. So, yeah, we got all that. So we can go ahead and do the field research. The map has been unlocked. Milestone reached. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and beacons. Note, the object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. Okay, thank you, Ada. Uh, I'll go build one of those. Oh, I didn't even unlock it yet. Okay, I gotta get the fuel. Oh, we do have fuel research. I'm just gonna stick it. No, I'll put this somewhere close. Because it makes it easy for me to work around it. Oh, here we go. Oh jeez. Oh yeah, power slugs. Yeah, we still gotta get those. I got a few extras. At least I caught a couple off camera because there was a lot. I need that one. I just need one to get that one activated. And then we'll just get that done. Oh. I'm jumping in the thing, and I'm not supposed to be jumping in that. Unless I'm fucking complete, but she's the node retrieve. Yep. I don't have the yellow one yet, but if we find a couple of yellows, I'll find them. But. Let me make a small contraption real quick. I gotta build a. a thing for our, um, power shards. Then we get our chest, make sure we need that to unlock it. I should need a I need only one of those for something else. Okay, there we go. Hide that. Make that as a backup if something happens. And now our ship is back. Uh, is the fixments? Oh yeah, the, the fixments did shut down. Okay, I wasn't on here fast enough to do the fixments, so we can't do the fixments update on this one. When we, when it comes back, I will set a platform up later on in the future for the fixments and everything. And I did not forget to turn the power onto this. I know I won't forget to do that. And how much power are we stealing? Oh, well, at least we're not out of power yet. Soon enough, I gotta replace these. So, let's make sure we need the parts. I don't know where I should build... Wait. Oh, yeah. That's just doing its thing real quick. Uh, let me look in the objective side real quick. I'm not looking at phase one right now. We're gonna do that later on. Uh, we need... 
I think we need part assembly. Let's see. Upgrade customization. I really want these, but we do have unlocked that now. But I need to get one more thing. Part assembly. Improved versions of conveyor belts and conveyor lifts are now accessible. To encourage additional verticality, conveyor poles now have a stackable variant. Okay, I see I got the chest there. Actually, I'm changing some stuff in my inventory so we can actually do that. I just changed it to lever 2 so we don't. So I can just switch it from 1 to 2. Or if I just go into the lifts here and push, I think for, when you push. No, wait, how do you get it again? I don't remember. Did I. Okay, I forgot how to do this again. It, it, it's new. Okay, quick switch. Yeah, you can do this, or or you can just go into the thing and change it like that, and you'll be done. But I don't know if I want to actually do that. I'll get the project assembly stuff in a minute because it, this thing gets back in a minute, like four minutes. Over here. Oh, we need to hide that extra chat. Okay, I know what I'm doing. Put that in there so I don't lose it. So let's see. Nutritional value. So I got these, but I don't have that, but I do have these. So all these those two I can actually access. Because I have those part, all of them here. Since we got them here and here, I got a ton of them. I've been doing a lot of resource gathering off camera a little bit. At least we did that. Because I can find out what we need to do. Oh jeez, I need to open that one. I don't remember actually getting those, but... And then, I don't think I did actually find those yet. The only place that that would be, it would be in the green area. Like, that will be around over that way. Let's actually go find some and I'll just do that and get the stuff we need. And if I can't find any of those berries... Oh, look at here, look at here, look at here. I have found a drop ship, I think. Oops, and my things get... Why is this thing getting... Okay, that's getting glitchy. Okay, I found a drop ship. Oh, we need to get our thing out. He killed one of your, uh, your own kind. Oh, we got these. Oh, just some, some circuit boards. I'll take that. I'll collect them as many as I can. I'm looking for any parts that are on the ground. I like to pick up parts. Oh, there's screws there. And there's more of these things. I need these. I don't think they will respawn, but I could just pick these up. I got a hundred and... No, I have more than that. Hey, it's speaking. Data on the hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. Okay. And let me just go find these berries still. I still can't find any. So let me go find one and I'll be right back. Ooh, I found some some criterium in the open. New technologies can be developed based on this new, superconductive, gold-like element, primarily in power and electronics. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Thank you, Edo. So, I can't find a berry anywhere, but I see a lot of these guys. They're everywhere. Uh, apparently, it's a bad idea to stand near them while you're running. Or there could be berries back there but apparently I don't see anything about a berry anywhere I must have got I next time I spawn somewhere else I won't spawn back here we do not know any series 
Or maybe not, I don't know. Or, yeah, let me stand here. So, I got... Uh, let's go to the ma'am and unlock the yellow one now. Let's get the... Let's get the hard drive last. Oh, I need those. I forgot you need rotors. How many rotors do you need again? I didn't check. How much like you need is a... Ooh, you need 25, so... How many of the plates do I actually make? I don't think I actually made them. Oh yeah, we didn't unlock it yet because it's under part assembly. At least I did some of the stuff off camera. We got them on there. They're, they're already in there. Milestone reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Project assembly parts can now be constructed and sent up via the space elevator. Note. Project parts are too complex to produce by hand. Okay, I think we can unlock- I think we can build them now. Apparently I don't usually make them by hand. Oh, here we go. We can make 50 of these darn things. Let's make 50. So, let's go ahead and AFK that. All right, they are done. So now we can go to the ma'am. I don't know why I'm walking pretty far to my ma'am, but it's okay. Uh, what's it called? Power slugs. Yeah, we got that now. Now we gotta find the pink one. Now I gotta. I got cop. No, I don't have copper sheets. Wait, did we make copper sheets in this map yet? Or did we unlock it on this thing? Oh, we can now. So I just need to add an extra layer to my building. Oh, I really want to make an extra one of these. You can make more, you can actually speed the process up a little more. Uh, let's not do twos, let's do ones. Because I want to save the sheets for later. I really, really want to make this much easier. I think I can get a to work. Soon enough, we're going to be replacing our, uh... This tower station soon, so... I'm just gonna go through it anyway and do the honors of building through this because I don't wanna I really wanna do that. Hang on, I think we need to hook this up. Oh crud, we don't have no power to this thing. Oh wait, do we have a power selection? No, we don't. I'm gonna have to add another pull to do so. I'm gonna have to do is do this. Add an extra one. Link it back to that one, and then link another pole to that one and to that one, and then so that should fix everything. And I need to come over here and add a new setup. I need to come from underneath, so that's... There we go. Now that should give it time. And then it will be making our steel production, and then oh, the, the copper production, or I call it. It's gonna come and make our first one. Oop, if I can get across this thing quickly. Just making sure things in good order. I'm gonna make it nice and neat next time. I'm just doing it like that, so it's like off the ground and completely ready. So when we get done with uh with getting when we get on phase four, I, no wait. Uh, or objective four, whatever it's called. 
What's it called? Objective? No, it's it's in here. I still gotta get it. I don't really want the jump pads. Wait, what? It said I can do that now. Milestone reached. You have been given early access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on exoplanets bonus program. Funneling parts in huh? awesome resource sink, depending on their amount and complexity, will grant you coupons in the awesome store, which can be exchanged for bonus rewards. Examples of bonus content are parts, walls, factory attachments, and cosmetics. Fixit is working hard to develop additional options, which will be added to the awesome store in the future. Go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. Yeah, oh, thank you for that, but I'm going to need to get some more metal when I'm out. Apparently, we are getting... Yeah, I should not put this to two. But I'm going to get some more steel production. Get some steel out of there. 21, 2, 3, 4 stacks. That'll be enough to hold us down. I'm just going to send this to... Okay, that's the small... That's number one. I'm making sure it's not number two. If it's not number two... I'll do that when we're upgrading the, um, the builds and stuff. Okay, I know we can still unlock things, can we? For some reason, they let me do it. Why is it let me do it like that? Biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Additionally, R&D inflated your pocket dimension. Okay, Ada, thank you. I just need to figure out why the heck she's asking me so many questions. I'm just gonna make myself a baby setup for my my material like this stuff and shards and oh yeah, we still gotta unlock one of those. Hang on, let's just split one. Yeah, we can make another ram and it'll be ready. It'll be fine. We can have multiple mams around the map. Delete actually leave, so that's good. So we did unlock. What's it called? Um. So these take metal two. Oh joy! I don't think I might have to do something about that. I put this here for AFK purposes because I keep AFKing my area so it can stay in, in range. But if you're in range, if you're literally in range of you're the whole, you're still loaded into the map. That means you're still loading everything in the map that's around you. But the only thing is, I don't know how this works. I think the ch it's called a chunk load mode. Mod. Okay, six. Like, oh my gosh, that's a lot. Yeah. How is the shards doing? Because I'm, I'm. Oh, it's done. Take the shards. Use them for something else. I'm not gonna do it on the power about on the burners right now because if we do that, we're gonna burst up the power. So I need to take these back. I'm gonna stick them in here. These are I thought I got more, a little more. So we can split this to one, so we can use it, so we can use which one we're looking for now. So now I can unlock. Key shards too. Stick those in, and they will just do their thing for me. I'll be a little quicker now, so we'll be fine. Uh, I think we can do is let me see what else do we need to do. Do you have anything else for the power mode? I don't think so. So let me go and unlock the next objective real quick. In a jet's back, finally. How long did it take to get back? It wasn't loaded there before. Okay, jump pads. I need more of those. Well, at least I got a lot of screws being produced in this. If we can find it real quick. One, two, 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 two. That should be enough to make the parts. And then I can just do that. Make another 15 or 25 of these, and I'll be right back. All right, we got them darn things done now, so we should be able to. Wait, did we unlock it? Oh yeah, we did. So we need to unlock the jump pads. 
And that's the last one on that list. So now... Several buildings aimed at factory traversal can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. And I need to build the um, the phase one completion so we can unlock phase three and four. So I need to do a new platform somewhere else. I do not want to build near this because if I build near this, I can't find crud. Because I don't know what the deal is, so I need to get. So since we're making newer parts now, just make sure we have enough space. I just don't want it to go too big. Let's see. What we need to do is we need to make. Here, hang on one second. I need to put this right down for one second. One little second. Oh, dang it. I should have built it really close to that. Oh, okay, I got an idea. Let's delete all this and try it again. Let's go somewhere else. I don't want to do it over here. I got a great spot. So if we build it close to this, the, um, the space elevator, we'll be fine. I can build it right next door. I think I got enough space to do it. About here. I think I need some metal material too. So what we're gonna have to do is. So what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send the. Let me check the what's inside the symbol. We need to do. So we need to get smart plating. So we need reinforced and rotors. So that's gonna be a tricky one because it was put this really close to it. Yeah, there we go. And now we can hook up. A, a Mark II belt into there. Turn this into smart plating. So we need two different platings. So what I need to do is add another one here and here. Make sure we have power. And I do not have my rods. Nice. We run out of rods so quickly. Since we got metal production all over the place, it's worth it. Yeah, let me make sure I'm enough parts. Oh, not all of them. And then should we, and then we just finish it. We just gotta unlock this phase. And I did not add an extra layer. Because it's sticking out. Okay, got that. When you make rotors and plates, so that's ooh. So I might just find another node of iron here, so we can actually save us some time. Uh, those have been used. Oh yeah, this was actually backup. Oh wait, was this right? Hang on. This one's its own setup. Oh, actually, that's actually smart. So we don't really need this one, actually, anymore. All I need to do is a splitter right here to get rid of this section right here. We don't need but that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to split off the conveyor belt to one. We don't need these. They're going to get in our inventory and they're going to get in the way. So now I need to send this conveyor belt... Yeah, do we have, wait, we can use Mark Town to build. So we can get this down there in no time. So I wanna we we'll run it from the back no, we we'll also run it from the back. Let's just run it from the front so they can actually raise it over the the area. So what I'm gonna do is add this, add another layer. I gotta make sure to just right. Oh jeez, I need to add some new parts. So we're, we're, are we just making stuff? Okay, we need rod screws. Oh gee, we need a lot of space. Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare to make. 
So we need to make... Oh, gee, we need a lot of space. You know, so I'm just going to do this. So, I don't know. I'll just be... All I'm going to do is... Edit some of this out real quick and come back and I'll just do some work and I'll uh, get it finished and I'll get it set up and we turn it on. Alright, we are... I got all the setup set together. We're all clear. Uh, we need to make sure we get enough coming through at a time. I might have to boost that thing. So we're going to do... I'm going to hook up a power pole from here to there to start this, spot, this iron process up. I wish I had a jetpack so guys I could see this. And I should just add this to here. And then to here to here. So we're all working now. I got a splitter that's going to split off screws for us. And to do different chests, so they always need screws to run this. So should be getting rods here too. Yep, here they come. I'm gonna do shards as well to shard. Whoops. Shard these as quickly as possible, and then I'm gonna do is do this one too. I hope it doesn't break the power station at the power at the uh, hub because I may have to make a new power station. So we need to get 50 of those. Complete phase ones parts, and they should it should take a little while. And we might need to like actually speed this up. Let's we'll speed this all up real quick, cause I don't want to run an issue right now. At least we have enough shards to run it. I hope it's not pulling much power right now. Here, let me run down to the power, uh, not the power, the miner real quick and just... Actually, I can just walk up from here. And we can just keep going and I'll go ahead and just add some shards to it real quick. Oh, there it goes. Uh, like I said, uh, the power station did shut down this time. I might have to have one more. Because... Actually, we don't need to do that, actually. I got shards, we can do so. Wow, we did jump a lot. And then we should be able to turn it on. There we go. And now I can run down to the miner. And overclock it as fast as I can so the speeds up the system a little more. The original factory will stay running on a map itself, so ooh. Why did I not set these to level 2? Okay, that's better. That's why I was so slow. I'll put this look of tower right there. Tear down the other one. So I can actually go up top and do an AFK session. And we already got our first one in there now, finally. So let me go ahead and um, AFK for a bit and I'll be right back.
Alright, there should be one more to go. Man, that thing's still sparking. I don't think it lags, but that's okay. Man, that's... Are we making a ton? Apparently we are doing a lot, so let me... So what we're gonna do, after... When we... Yeah, all right, it's done. So I'm gonna do... Actually, I need to delete this for one second. So it's done. So now, I don't think... Yeah, we're good, we're clear. So now I'm gonna add a... a I'm gonna turn... A chest around. Real quick. And that's not the chest. I need a chest. There we go. Now... We can add a chest or two right here because this will take a long time to produce more because I need to stay AFK more often because okay since it's full now we can unlock phase three before we lock down I'm gonna stand back over here because I'm gonna watch it go up seal it And then we're going to send it down now. Alright. And then we have unlocked our next phase area. Now, now this... Oh, yikes. I might need to say these are connected, but... Here, let me make a spot for this to work. So, we're gonna do here. Let me add this real quick. Actually, I don't really need this. Or at least there's two in there. Okay, now this part that's just gonna fill up, and after we get when it gets done, I'm gonna add new parts later on in the future. And I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the next phase. Let's go to phase four. And I wanna see, is it on phase four? Yeah, that's what I want. But we don't have that yet, so we're gonna have to go to coal power. So I need this one. So, oh yikes. Okay, yeah, we are gonna have to disable the this factory. They give me some more motors. Okay, now I, I don't really want to disable this. You know something? I will turn this off. Because this was only temporary. What I'm going to do is disable it all. Here, let's turn the power off to it. So it doesn't make anything when we're not here. delete this as well and that I was AFKing that on those because that's why I need to do that so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and uh, delete every single one I hope I have, I have enough space for everything at least I got this I know how to do this really fast I gotta delete every single part on here so that we can salvage it for later. I'm gonna build us a small. F when we get phase two, yeah, when we get metal something, something, something. Too many screws. I'm gonna delete some of those. Let's see. Get rid of those. Oh, it's already back. That's fast. Now we can send this back through the. So we don't need to do this again. 
Now I can send this back to like it was. Where's that pole that connects to this? And then that should do its thing now. So that's going to help us a little bit because I don't want to come back and look at that. So now, yeah, those are going into the storage room, the storage area for us to grab the stuff we need to grab. Let's check the ma'am. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Now we can get rid of that stupid other one. This is the one. Is it this one? Yeah, it was this one. So this one we don't need. The, we don't need anymore. Oops! I need to go into the thing and disable it. There we go. Now we can. Fix it real quick because I got a new alternate. That was actually the first try. And now you don't have to have but the singles. Nashi's doing a pretty good job. Tw 50 per minute. Wait, no, wait, not 50 per minute. 20 per minute. So that's gonna give us a lot in a single in a single box. So that's gonna fill up the chest again. So I'll go ahead and go do some more placing a new. Wait, what should we? What are we unlocking again? Oh, I'm unlocking um a lot more stuff. So we got a lot of these. I'll get a bunch of those and send them down there. So we need us to get some rotors. And that's gonna take a long time. Rotors. We need screws and rods. Okay, screws. And then we'll just go ahead and make them. I'll go ahead and just do the um the stuff for over right now and I'll come back. <clears throat> Alright, we are done with that. I am wait, where am I going? I'm heading back to the hub to go unlock it. The um coal power plant. Milestone reached. Coal is an improved alternative power source to biomass and can be fully automated if provided water with the new pipeline buildings and power throughout the initial setup. Coal has been added to the resource scanner. Note, ensure the close proximity of water to the coal production line. Note, pumps will aid in vertical transport of fluids through pipes. Note, throughput and volume indicators are added to each pipe section automatically. There we go, it won't load up for me. Yikes, that was far away. How are you? Let me look at the map to see. We got one, two, three, four, five. There's like five in that area. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go and build that platform, that was a power plant, on our next recording session because I don't get it. But at least we unlocked it already. And I might be able to get my blueprint list up today too. Maybe in another video we might do a um, that too. So we got transport. And basics. Oh shoot. Let's see, we got advanced. Let's get the transport stuff next. Because I know better. Oh, did I get it? Oh wait, did it not do it? Oh, because the ch oh yeah, I gotta wait. Yeah, I gotta wait for them to come back. How long is that gonna take? About six minutes? Yeah. I'll go ahead and just wait for a bit and, uh, and then the, uh, wait for the, uh, jet pack, the jet to get back or the, uh, the rocket get back or the pod, whatever they call it. Alright, the ship is back. I've been waiting for about ten minutes, like three minutes. No, we're not, we're not going there. We're going here. So we just, just need to get these order organized ASAP. And you turn on this features so we can get a fast ship return. There we go. Milestone reached. 
long-range transportation, as well as the construction of outposts, is now encouraged. Vehicle stations have built-in functionality to refuel and restock or collect parts. All right, there she goes. Okay, since the faster ship return is on, so we can do that multiple times. But I'm not going to turn it on all the time, because it's going to take uh, a lot of time. Oh, yikes. Yeah, okay, we got to get those. So, this is our next one? Need more copper. What the heck am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. We can just unlock it immediately. Milestone reached. Steel production unlocked. Foundry grants access to new, simple steel parts. An additional project part can now be constructed. Progress to the next phase is now possible. Okay, now we can get this next one. Milestone reached. R&D inflated your pocket dimension, added an additional hand equipment slot, and have provided an improved Xeno Zapper with increased strength and range. Ooh, I might need to make that. Okay, how do we make that again? It's just pretty different than the other one. So, Xeno Zapper, I need two of these, so I need one more of these. Okay, we got that, and I need is... What the heck? That's a lot. So let me take this out of my inventory. Make the basher. Because this actually is helpful. Okay, when I put it in my inventory, it's gonna be good. I love this animation. There we go. I like that animation when I do that. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe in our next video we might do the, um, on our, uh, we might get our, uh, power station done. So I hope, make sure to like and subscribe, make sure to those notifications on, make sure to follow me on Discord and Twitch. I hope you enjoyed this, um, the, um, the video today, and make sure to comment below if you liked it or not, and I'll see you guys in the next one.